these miners are finding their way to safety after a methane buildup forced them to evacuate. They donned their SCSRs at the first sign of trouble, and they planned ahead, going straight to the nearest cache. Each of them picked up a spare SCSR. Now, after almost an hour, some of the guys are feeling a higher resistance. That tells them that their units are almost used up. They know the feeling from their practice with the SCSR expectation training device. Their first move is to motion to the others that they are going to change over. They can't talk because the air around them is still dangerous. They stop to do a quick changeover. It begins with the same steps they took when they started their first unit. The miner opens the second SCSR, loops the neck strap over his head, and pulls the starter tag on the second SCSR. He takes one last deep breath from the first SCSR and holds it. Still holding his breath, he takes the plug out of the second SCSR mouthpiece, makes sure the breathing hose isn't kinked or twisted, spits out the first mouthpiece, and puts the second SCSR mouthpiece in his mouth. Then he exhales to start the second SCSR's oxygen. After that, he takes off the first SCSR's nose clamp, puts on the second nose clamp, drops the first SCSR, fastens his chest strap, and moves out again with the team. Now let's break that down so you can practice it till you know it well enough to go through it in the dark. You're wearing one SCSR, including goggles and nose clamp, and you're carrying a second unit. Breathing with the first SCSR has become uncomfortable, and the breathing bag is hard to fill. This can happen in 60 minutes or less, depending on your weight, condition, and level of activity. Now you're going to change over, breathing only what you get from an SCSR and keeping outside air or smoke out of your lungs at all times. First, open the second SCSR. Pull open the security band by unclipping the loop on the top of the SCSR, hooking your finger through it, and holding the SCSR down while pulling the loop up. Remove the top and bottom covers and hold the second SCSR so the starter tag hangs by your right hand. Now, loop the neck strap over your head. Push the first SCSR off to one side so the second SCSR is in the center of your chest. Pull the starter tag down and let it go. The breathing bag will inflate. Take one last deep breath from the first SCSR and hold your breath. Still holding your breath, take the plug out of the second SCSR mouthpiece. Make sure the breathing hose isn't kinked or twisted. Spit out the first mouthpiece and put the second mouthpiece in your mouth. Now you can exhale into the mouthpiece to start the oxygen. When you're sure the second SCSR is working, switch nose clamps. Now you can drop the first unit, fasten your chest strap, and move out. The changeover procedure is really critical. Some mines have chosen to mix self-contained self-rescuers to where they may have a different model that they're carrying versus what's stored. So again, it's critical that even if they're the same unit, the process of taking and wearing one and exchanging to another training model will make all the difference. Their travel time might be, might be an hour plus to fresh air and there's going to be a point that somebody's going to be running out of oxygen in their unit. And we need to learn how to switch to a new unit in an inhospitable environment. And that's key. Taking the time to learn everything possible about their SCSRs helped these men make it to safety. So practice changing over until you can do it without a hitch. Ask your trainer or supervisor if you have any questions about changing over or anything else about using your SCSR. You can also check out the CSE SCSR manual. Remember that your SCSR could save your life anytime you're on the job.